Cicero's Letters Subject Matter His letters begin when he is 39. Between 68 BC and 65 BC, there are only eight letters. They talk about his hopes, fears, doubts, and difficulties as a politician during the day, and show his feelings and motive, and show the feelings and motives of other politicians. They drive from the most they range from the most informal communications with members of his family to serious and elaborate compositions which are practically treaties. We see Cicero divorce his wife after 30 years because she is, suppo she is supposedly dis indiscreet and unscrupulous, unscrupulous in money matters and marry at the age of 63 his own ward, a young girl whose fortune he admitted was the main attraction. Cicero primarily wrote to Atticus. These letters were unstudied and spontaneous, and often reflected Cicero's mood. They would send each other. They would send them to each other every day in times of excitement, and he was completely ominous, even exposing it, him to ridicule. He also wrote to Pompey, Caesar, Cato, Brutus, Antony, and they all wrote to Cicero on political matters as well. The collection, arrangement, and publication of Cicero's correspondence seems to have been due to Tiro the learned freeman who served him as secretary. These letters are important and impactful because they give us an inside look at what was going on in politicians' heads and what they were feeling during this time of civil war.